This is amazing. What if you can create a chart like this to detect anomalies using Task Weaver? What if it is more easy than you think? That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone. I'm really excited to show you about anomaly detection in a SQL database. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to do that and also explain how it works. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe, click the like button and stay tuned. First, git clone task weaver and click enter. Next, navigate to the task weaver folder. Next, conda activate task weaver. This will activate the virtual environment. Next, pip install hyphen r requirements.txt and click enter. Next, pip install langchain and pip install tabulate and click enter. These two are required for the plugin which we are going to use. Once that is done, export your OpenAI API key like this and click enter. Next, we're going to open this in a code editor. This is the folder structure. In this, we need to go to the project folder. Inside the project folder, there is taskweaverconfig.json. Click that. Here, the API base, I'm adding v1 version towards the end. Next, provide your OpenAI API key and then provide the model name and click the save button. I've already explained taskweaver in more detail step by step in my previous video, which I will link that in the description below. Coming back to your terminal, now we are going to find anomaly in a SQL database. Now we can type python hyphen m taskweaver hyphen p dot slash project and click enter. It opens this taskweaver again. If you see the folder structure inside project, you have sample data. Inside that sample data, you have anomaly detection dot database. That's what we are going to analyze. Now I'm going to right click that and then click copy path. Now coming back to our terminal, db path and paste the full path. Then I mentioned load data from time series table in the DB and show me its columns. So if I open the database, it looks like this. The table name is time series. And if I browse the data inside that, you have two columns. One is TS and another one is VAL. TS is the time series and VAL is the values. Coming back to our terminal, now we're gonna enter this. And now the process got started. Now the planner informed code interpreter to load the time series table and then extract the column names. The code interpreter responded with the code and it ran the code and here is the response. The columns in the time series table are TS and VAL as we have seen now. Now I'm going to ask, apply anomaly detection on its data and then click enter. We got a response here, the anomaly detection did not find any anomalies resulting in an empty data set. Therefore, it's not possible to generate a plot for the detection results. Seems like the database is not connected properly. I'm going to enter the database path again and say, use this database and click enter. I added SQLite colon to mention the database is SQLite. And finally, it responded here. The plot file for anomaly detection results has been generated. Please check the file anomaly detection plot.png. So you can go back to your directory. Inside the workspace folder, you'll have sessions. Inside that, you'll have different folders. CWD is the folder where all the files get stored. So click on that and there you'll find the anomaly detection plot. Click that. And here is the plot which we waited for. It is able to detect anomalies in the graph data. As simple as that. So how did this work? This is using Task Weaver plugin. So if you navigate back to your folders, here there's a folder called plugins. So if you go inside that, you can see the list of plugins there. So the anomaly detection is the plugin which was used to generate the plot. So the plugin consists of two files. One is anomaly detection.yaml, another one anomaly detection.py file. So yaml file have the function definition and .py file will have the actual function. This is the yaml file. It says anomaly detection function identifies anomalies from an input data frame. If you see the list of parameters, first one is the data frame, then it gets the time column, then it gets the value column. And finally it returns a data frame with is anomaly column, whether if there is an anomaly or not. So the other file, anomaly detection.py, that's where you define the anomaly detection plugin class. And this receives the data frame, the time series column and the value column, and it adds a is anomaly column. This we can see from the log. If we go to the terminal, we can see the task weaver called this plugin and added this is anomaly column. This column tells whether there's an anomaly or not for that particular row. And finally, it returns the .csv file. 
this CSV file is ingested as the data frame to give us the final graph, which you can see here. That's it, as simple as that. I'm going to create more videos in regards to how to create a plugin from scratch and also use cases of Task Viewer. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe. And thanks for watching.